Ooh, guys, what is up? What is up? Today is gonna be, oh, a fun one. We have the new Tackle Backpack, guys. Feast your eyes on the Red Gills Fishing Beast of a replacement for this sucker right here today. We're gonna go in depth, talk all about these two things and uh, pros and cons of them both. Now that I have taken them out in the field, gotten some fishing in, and that is that. We want to also thank Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring today's epic video for you guys. I hope you take something from this. Go ahead and stick around till the end. We're also throwing a huge 40K giveaway on our Instagram account that includes it literally includes this backpack, you guys. A brand new one, either in this camo or their all black coloration. Leo over at Red Gills Fishing is hooking the winner up and that should be going on any day now. Look for the link in the pinned comment and down at the top of the description. We are gonna go in and out of both of these things, like I said, talk to you about how we've got them loaded up and uh, hopefully provide some insights as to whether you want to purchase one or the other for your outdoor adventures. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, Carl's Bait and Tackle. They have supplied, I would say, at least 90% of what is inside either bag on any given fishing outing for myself and Devin. Uh, let's have some fun, guys. So I wanna talk to y'all about a quick weakness of mine on YouTube. You know it, I make a lot of cuts in my videos. Today we're gonna try and make less cuts. In fact, I'm gonna try and make it all one. It's gonna be very challenging. Uh, you know me, ADD, HD, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, racetrack of a mind going on up here, and I tend to lose focus and uh, talk about too many things like how long this rant is right here. So we're gonna go ahead, tell you about the old backpack first, or should we tell you about the new backpack first? We'll talk about... We'll talk about the old backpack first. So I've had this guy, I'm gonna show you how I loaded up with some of the stuff. That's why I've got it all set out on the table. Plano Fishing. I picked this guy up at Dick's Sporting Goods Field and Stream just locally. I want to say I paid $80 to $100 for it. I'll put it down in the description for you guys to find it. Uh, the thing that I like most about this backpack, it's maybe slightly larger. It's just got a clean, uh, solid color. This one, they have different options. Just a clean design. Literally, it is two big zipper pockets up front. Uh, it has got two button-down pockets right here, and then the one main pocket that you use for uh, everything I'm gonna mention. So, what I would typically load this thing up with is a set of pliers right here on the go at all times. Sometimes it'd be two pairs because Devin and I are both out or what have you. We'll be going around a pond, one for her, one for myself, pliers. Uh, also, maybe I'm burning through plastics or switching baits up. I might just toss some baits in that pocket as well. Uh, that way I can go ahead and continue fishing and not have to worry about like a, you know, trash or leaving these plastics on the bank like some folks do. Always pick up your baits, guys. I like to keep those in that front button pocket as well. As for the first zipper pocket, I would normally load this down with my ice box and I'll show you that. It's now inside of this other backpack. Uh, my terminal tackle box with my hooks, weights, etc., and then maybe some Nikos as it gets hot. Uh, I'd put a couple of those neck buffs in the uh, backpack. That way we're good for the summer heat. And then we've got this other one on this side. Normally this would be reserved for, it could be more soft plastics, more pliers. Like I say, I just, I, I kind of keep those front two open uh, for whatever I might need on a moment's notice. And the second zipper pocket, I would usually throw things like the GoPros. I can actually get both of them on the chest mounts to fit in this one pocket. Maybe the spare batteries, I keep all of our spare batteries in a pouch and just keep things plain and simple. But oftentimes the camera gear, which is another thing that's great about this backpack is it's got a lot of space, would fit inside this zipper pocket right here. Now we get into the bulk, the main pocket of the bag. Now this bag, this is really cool. Uh, this Red Gills Fishing does not come with boxes. The, the Plano Fishing backpack actually comes with five tackle boxes out uh, off the shelf. And so I have four of them in this box. They actually transfer and fit nicely into this one or into this one right here. But uh, this one comes with five boxes for you guys. So I mean, all your hard, pla or, yeah, all your hard plastics, your cranks, your, uh, Everything, everything you would put in a tackle box is right here ready for you when you pick up the Plano bag off the shelf. When it comes to my soft plastics, I just toss all those in this top pocket. Now, I don't really know, this thing is a goofy built-in design. It like literally won't come out. It's very weird. I just push it all down. I don't care about this thing, um, but it's there, it's just annoying. And so then I throw, usually I put like a money bag in here or something like that. You know, this thing can handle a lot. Still with the five, the five uh, boxes here. And so I'm really ready to go hit the ponds. Uh, if you're just throwing your favorite soft plastics in here, you still have plenty of room. Sometimes I'll throw a mystery tackle box on top. Uh, we've got the scale over here in this backpack. Usually I would just toss the scale right here. And I'm talking about this thing. 
is locked and loaded. So that's the Plano backpack, which I don't want to tell you too much about because you've seen it. Um, so we're going to dive into the Red Gills backpack and what I like so much about this one right here. So let's now get back to this side of things. This is normally for a drink, but you know, who needs drinks when you're weighing big fish like our channel all the time, right? <laughs> all right, so Red Gills. This bad boy is a little bit more well thought out. Maybe a little, maybe a lot actually. That's, that's up for you to decide. Uh, it carries a roughly $99 price tag for y'all, free in my giveaway, if you go ahead and follow Weston Smith on Instagram and are the lucky winner. Cannot wait to announce the winner, guys. We have a Shimano SLX DC reel going to one of y'all. One of my favorite high-end reels by Shimano. I think you guys are gonna love it as well, along with a plenty of Guggen baits. I mean like, I mean like a lot of Guggen baits are going in the giveaway. This backpack as well as a Carl's gift card and some Nikos for your neck. Keep you cool and out of the sun from getting burned this spring. So what comes with this backpack when you order? You, although you don't get the boxes, you do get it in a nice, see, that's where I need to make a cut. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. It's all gonna be one take. So, although you don't get the boxes, you do get this fancy deal right here. Check this out. You do get a box of some sort. I haven't even opened this yet. Even though I've gone and taken this bag out, I don't know what is inside here. I haven't really... Soft plastics? No way. Dude, I really had no clue. Worms. We got a little hog. We got a swim bait. I did not know these were in here. Okay, okay, six. There's more than just these three. There's actually like 10 soft plastics in here. Ooh, good scent. Good scent. The slogan here is ready for battle, you guys. That is the truth. We've also got like this little frog with a spinner on the back. This thing is, um, it's gonna get thrown. You're gonna see it in a future video. Extra dope. A little Red Gills keychain. A sticker for your vehicular, maybe your boat, maybe, yeah, one of those things. And then we have uh, some hooks. Sick. It looks like three aught, four aught EWG. It looks like three aught EWG hooks right here. Good for uh, probably any of the plastics in this bag. And then also we have, which I've taken out actually and put to use <laughs> some quarter, uh, quarter ounce, I was about to say quarter aught after talking about those hooks, some quarter ounce weights that they include for you. So this backpack includes some things that that one does not, that's actually pretty sick and gets you ready to go fish right out of the gate. That is pretty cool. Uh, like I say, quarter ounce, probably the best all around size if you could only have one weight for most scenarios. Quarter ounce is what I would go with. Of course, there's the applications where you need heavier or lighter, but uh, this is a fantastic setup for any of you guys just wanting to grab this backpack, get out and catch some fish. Uh, I didn't even know those plastics were included. I, yeah, so that's that. Now let's talk about the backpack itself. Um, and, you know, nothing is perfect, but I would say this thing is much more well thought out. You'll hear me say that again. So let me tell you what we got here. Uh, we have this main pocket here on the bottom. Boom, that opens up and this is four of the five boxes that came with that backpack. They fit in here just nicely. I'd say they're, you know, like uh, two inch by 12 by eight, something like that. They fit in there nice and neat. So I've got some ploppers in here, some frogs, some chatter baits. We got the crankbait box in here somewhere. We got uh, jerk baits, hard swim baits. We've got some swim jigs and soft swim baits. We got all the goods in here, man. I'm telling you, more than enough. Uh, ready to go on a moment's notice. Um, set the sucker down, you are ready to go. Uh, also, yeah, what was I gonna say about the bottom? So this doesn't have anything on the bottom. This has got a little bit of a grip on the bottom. I did notice, uh, taking these out on the kayak and the first time they got wet, that this one holds a bit of moisture in these pads here. And so you'll, you know, you'll have a wet, you'll be getting wet a little bit. This one right here, tends not to hold as much moisture if maybe you're just setting it down at the ponds and it's getting rained on, etc. cetera. Um, small little detail I noticed when I took this thing out on the yak. Now, this pocket on the side, you have plenty of extra pockets on this backpack. Uh, what have I got in here? Some soft plastics on this side, loaded up with whatever you want. This right here is meant for your Red Bulls, your coffees, your waters, whatever you want to drink, but check me out, I have our Rapala 50 pound scale. This thing is a beast, I highly recommend it. You can pick it up on Shop Carl's, and uh, this thing is legit. It does not let go of these fish, and uh, no matter how hard they thrash, and it won't let you down, unlike those uh, cheaper Walmart ones that I started off using and went through a couple of um, when I first got into fishing. 
If there was one tool I could say that is a must have, it is one of these right here. These clippers, oh my gosh, invaluable. And you'll use this on braid, you'll use this on mono and fluoro, it just slices and dices right through them, constantly using this. Uh, I think this is a must have. They also had these on Carl's not long ago as well. Then you've got a, a legitimate spot for your pliers. This is too cool, just on the go, ready for you. I don't have to break into a pocket, they're right there. You know when you're using the treble hooks, when your hook gets pinned way down and the fish has choked it, pliers got to be on hand. This right here is actually for your telescoping rods. You can put a full size rod, it's gonna be up in the trees half the time, but uh, this I would say is for a travel rod setup with a reel, you can actually put it, I'll try and overlay a photo that I had taken of my setup. You could actually have a travel setup right here within these two Velcro straps. This front pocket, what do I have this used for? Uh, we've got some of those Nikos, and then also uh, a jig that Mark had given me, MDLR Fishing. I'm gonna be using this sometime soon. A Couple extra smaller pouches within there, maybe throw some SD cards. I'll probably use this for some electronics. I actually threw the GoPro batteries in here the last time I took this thing out. And uh, so that is what I've got that pocket for. This is nice, it's almost like the throwaway bin. Uh, let's say you were throwing your lures, they're getting wet, you don't wanna put them in your boxes to let all that stuff rust over time. And it's not really an issue the day of, but over time if you're continuously putting your lures in and out of the boxes and it's airtight and there's that moisture in there, it will rust those hooks, etc. So it's nice to let your uh, baits and, and hooks and all that air dry. So this little guy, I've been kinda just tossing the stuff I have just untied and maybe I'm switching lures into and it seems to be working out well. In this pocket, here's my ice box, my terminal tackle, like I had said, this is that Guggen Squad Bass Mafia collaboration on this little guy. And I've got my weights, whether it's the bullet weights, whether it's the drop shot, I've got my smaller wacky rig hooks, Ned hooks, uh, shaky heads. I mean, it's got room for everything, my worm hooks, my, uh, what is this? We've got some of these, I'm just killing it on this the other night, these underspins, weighted belly hooks with a little flashy blade for your swim baits. And so uh, this thing right here, it stays on my side. We've got this one up top that I don't think I've opened yet. Uh, what do we got in here? Some more plastics. Here's some used ones that I've just put into this bag. Uh, we got some more, more Guggen baits into that giveaway. And then let's see. Really, it's almost all pros with this thing right here. Check this out. Room for glasses. Your shades, man. I keep my Mondo Optics in here. Uh, you can see they've already been readily used because I ain't even put them back in the pouch for protection. But spring is in the air, y'all. It is time for your polarized shades. You have to have them on you, and so these things literally stay right here. You're gonna need to be uh, sight fishing these things on the bed very soon, if not actually now. My friends are catching them on beds in DFW, Dallas area where we're from. But uh, you have that up there for your shades. You can put anything in there, of course, and it's a nice hard case, and so that is fantastic. Now, the one pocket that is, the one pocket I think could use a larger opening is this one at the top. I'm being brutally honest here, you guys. I want you to know that I paid full price for this sucker in stores. Uh, like I had said, and this one was sent to me for free, and Leo, such a generous dude over at Red Gills. I love this thing. The one thing that could be a little bit larger is this opening here at the top, because I believe this is where a lot of you and myself are gonna store all their soft plastics. And there's that smaller opening, and what I've just been doing is putting a uh, money bag right inside of here. That way, I'm not like trying to sift through these plastics, because this is a rather large pocket right here. This is just straight above those boxes. And so, you know, if I just have however many bags of plastics crammed in here, it's gonna be tough to sort through. That's why I really value these money bags. Pull this sucker out, everything is right there, easy to see, and so uh, that's why I'm mentioning it. But yeah, so you gotta cram this thing in here, and it works well, you know, it works well. For, uh, for what it is, it works well. And so, yeah, honestly, it wouldn't have as sleek of a shape and design if this opening on top was a little bit wider. And so, it's, it's neither a pro nor con. I make it work, and I'm sure you'll make it work. Also, here appears to be more of a waterproof case uh, with some uh, clear plastic so you can put whatever it is you want in here. It's just got more options. I think you guys could customize this and really optimize it for your fishing needs. And so, uh, yeah, man, I am pumped to include this thing in our Instagram 40,000 follower giveaway. And that really wraps up this video. I just want to take you guys and walk you through the new backpack that uh, I am super stoked about. You're gonna see this in probably every video from here on out. The only time I'm gonna use this is maybe if it's Devin and I and we just need to carry a ton of stuff, literally a ton of stuff, because this thing has you covered, this thing has you covered. I want you guys to just make an educated decision as to which one you may prefer. And so uh, this one, I believe, is slightly cheaper, includes the boxes. This one, 
couple more bucks and you also get the tackle included. Uh, I give the style points to this guy right here. This one has that clean, simplistic design. Appreciate you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed that I didn't make any cuts in this video. Till the next one, y'all. Peace. <gasps>